Hey guys, I wanted to talk about different roles in CS, and this is something that a lot of people have differing opinions on. So a lot of people, even pros, will talk about how there aren't any roles in the CS, that everyone should be able to do everything. Now, the way I look at roles is that roles are a quick way to describe how a certain player plays. So it's a, it's a tendency, it's a mindset, it's an approach to the game. If someone's an aggressive person who likes to seek out frags and he's a rifler, I'll call him an entry fragger. If someone's a more methodical player, plays to support his other players to go and get kills, is always there to kind of set people up for plays, but they're not looking to be the playmakers and trying not to open up the rounds, I'll call them a support player. If someone's there who's just constantly baiting the team, looking for rotation kills, lurking around the map, and looking for uh, small openings at the far sides of the map where there's no main action happening, I'm going to refer to them as a lurker. If someone's saving uh, their economy in a certain way, they're, they're buying specific ways so that they can afford ops, and primarily op, and they play the op most of the time, and they're better with the op, significantly better than the op than other people or than they are with rifles, I'm going to refer to them as a, an opper. A lot of people will say things like they'll call people oppers, they'll call people lurkers, but then they'll also say there are no such things as roles in CS. They're not entry fraggers or support players, they're just riflers on the team. Well, you can't say there's a lurker, there's an opper, and then say there's no roles. It doesn't work like that. There are roles. The roles are just there to describe people. So I, for example, I'm an entry fragger. I am aggressive with the rifle. I try to go for opening picks, and I do it in a certain way. The way I do it is still methodical. I still try to play off of my teammates. I still try to get flashed into positions, but I am I like to clear positions because I build routines to do this. Other people have their own styles and techniques at entry fragging. Other people have their own styles and techniques at opping, lurking, and being a support player, which is what I just call someone who's not the first person going in, not trying to go and make plays. But that's not to say that a support player can't make plays. The support player obviously knows how to rifle, but they like to approach the game a certain way, and that's a slower paced, more methodical. They don't like just forcing action. They like action to just play out naturally. That's just the mindset of a support player and you don't need to start saying like oh I think I should be this type of player oh I need to be this player no you are going to approach the game a certain way and you're gonna be that kind of player and generally speaking entry fraggers like to be stars of the team um, lurkers like to be stars of the team oppers like to be stars of the team support players don't really like seek after being the star of the team, they're happy just being a team player, just being on the team and being the glue of the team and making sure that everything else works because they are there and they're doing a certain job. And a lot of people, there are some people that embrace that role, just saying, I call it the bitch role, just whatever's left over. You have the people that are doing specific jobs, opping, entry fragging, lurking, what's left over, the bitch role, the support role. They are the glue of the team. They're just making sure that everything works. And um, those are the different roles, entry rifle, support, lurk, op. In my opinion, those are the roles in CS. And you don't necessarily try to be a role. You just are a certain role. It's just the way that you approach the game will make you better suited towards a certain position. If you're an entry rifler, if you're an aggressive player, if you have an aggressive mindset, you're better off being the point man, being the first person in. That's just how it breaks down. You shouldn't be the one who's watching other people go in first because you'll be unsatisfied. You'll see them doing it and they'll be too slow or too sloppy or they're not doing it properly and you'll wanna do it instead. And support players, they are generally speaking more passive and they'll they'll just be like, oh, you want to do this? I can flash you. I can smoke this for you. I can I can do this for you. I can I can trade a kill for you. Like they're just there ready to make a play whenever you're there. And they're happy to go in slow, they're happy to go in fast, and they're happy to do whatever. And this is through my experience how the roles break down. But a lot of people will have different experiences from me. A lot of people will disagree with me. And you know what, that's completely fine. But I think for describing how a player acts on a team, 
or their play style, if you're going to describe it in one word, I would say roles, and these roles I just laid out just a minute ago, entry, lurker, support, opera, are the different roles on a team. Anyways, just some fucking thoughts.